I was sitting down and all of a sudden my heart started pounding really hard. So I tried to stand up to um, go to my room to lay down and my legs didn't work. And that was the, was the first of six months trying to figure out what was wrong with me. I was fainting between 15 and 45 times a day. Sort of every day seemed like something else that I loved sort of got taken from, from me. And, um, and I couldn't be the mom I wanted to be or the wife I wanted to be or the friend I wanted to be. August of 2016, I went to Stanford um, Medical Center and they uh, diagnosed me with a rare condition called Guillain-Barre syndrome, an autoimmune neurological disease where your own immune system eats away at your nervous system. The doctors, um, after I got diagnosed, said um, there is no cure now. It's just something that thankfully does go away on its own, but some people are never really the same. And so I was sort of slowly getting my life back. And then uh, January 2nd, 2017, all of a sudden I started feeling really weird. I got diagnosed um, with a relapse of Guillain-Barre syndrome, which only happens in about three to 5% of people who get the disease. Nobody knows how long it will last. Nobody knows how long it will take you to walk again. And so then every part of my life that had started coming back um, was sort of felt like the rug got ripped out from under me. I just felt like somehow like a failure. How is this happening to me again? What did I, did I do something wrong? And I would feel like, is God really real? Is he really there? Is he, if he is real, is he good? April 21st, 2017, I just cried out to God and I said, God, I don't think I can do this anymore. I don't know how I'm going to make it out as a, as a living, loving, caring, kind person who loves you. And the next morning I woke up and we left to go on a date. My husband and I had coffee. We just talked about life, talked about how in the world we were gonna make it through this mess. And a girl came up to us and she said, um, hi, excuse me, I'm learning to hear the voice of God and I believe that God wants me to pray for you. Um, would that be okay? And so I just, yes, please do. And my uh, right leg started convulsing uncontrollably. Um, it was just a little bit at first and then more and more but I got up to try to walk and nothing had really changed. So we got in our truck to go drive to the park and um, my both legs, um, my right and left leg this time, started involuntarily convulsing. And so I decided to get out and walk. And I walked without any problem at all. My legs went exactly where I wanted them to go for the first time in a year and a half. And so, I decided that I wanted to run. This is impossible, but it's happening. And um, my husband was holding the phone, he was recording me, and he just dropped the phone in his lap and started weeping. Um, his mind couldn't really believe that God could be that good. I get to live a life that's completely free of all boundaries. And my, I get to share that with my daughter, who now has this memory for her entire life of me coming home. and. Um, being leaving in a wheelchair and coming back home and being completely free and able to run and um, able to run with me. And um, she has that memory of what God did for her whole life. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs>